Let's talk about the Côte Rhone. This is an appellation in the south of France towards the Mediterranean. Here we have a really nice warm climate where we can ripen some grape varieties that are unique to the region. Here is where we find for our red grapes, Grenache, Syrah, Mouvedre, and some other ones that are blended in small quantities. Don't get too bogged down with the details. These are the major ones that you'll want to remember when it comes to the Côte de Rhone. This is also an appellation that produces some really crisp, dry white wines. And these come from the Viognier, Marsan, Roussan, and Grenache Blanc grape varieties, as well as some others scattered amongst there. So in this region, like I said, we have this really warm climate, Mediterranean. Um, we can ripen some of those um, kind of bolder grape varieties, get some really nice ripe and juicy characters. One thing that's really unique is in the Southern Rhone, we also have this Garrigue. So Garrigue is this aroma or characteristic of the warm earth, as well as these hardy plants such as rosemary, um, lavender, and thyme. So imagine all of those scents as you walk through the Southern Rhone. And a lot of those scents tend to end up in the glass. Now within the Cote de Rhone, we also have some sub appellations. So we start with the broad appellation of Cote de Rhone. Anything that is made from the vines that are planted within the delimited area can be called Cote de Rhone as long as it falls the legal requirements of the grape varieties, the alcohol, and the growing um, conditions. These tend to be our more entry level wines where we have really juicy, fresh, and fruity styles. Typically, they're unoaked medium bodied and very simple and refreshing. Then we start to focus in on some of the areas that have a little bit more um, better suited terrain for growing of the grapes. So now we're looking at a collection of villages and this is called the Cote de Rhone Village Appellation. You'll see it noted on the label. It will either say Cote de Rhone Village or it will actually call out the name of the village. Here we have a region where we're getting a little bit more sloping, um, the soil's a little bit better draining, and so therefore the vines are doing a little bit better and can produce a higher quality grape than we would in the more flatlands of the Cote de Rhone Appellation. Uh, if we've sourced our grapes and followed all of the legal requirements to call a wine a Cote de Rhone Village, we can call it Cote de Rhone Village. And this is a nice labeling indication to you to indicate a step up in quality. And last but not least, in our kind of our hierarchy of the Cote de Rhone appellation, we have our top villages. These are gonna be called our crews. So these are villages that have um, been recognized for their very top quality um, wines that are produced. The most famous of these crews is called Chateauneuf du Pape. So you might've heard that wine um, in your wine journeys. And so a lot of people, when they think about the Southern Rhone and their top wines, they think about Chateauneuf du Pape, but there are some other classified uh, villages as well that are recognized for their number one wines. So when you're exploring the wines from the Cote de Rhone, I encourage you to try all levels in the hierarchy. So start with that nice, simple, juicy Cote de Rhone um, appellation. These are often really great values. Um, very accessible in terms of price point and um, lots of options to choose from. Then if you're looking to try something with just a hint more uh, concentration and structure, search for our Cote de Rhone Village. And if you're looking for that perfect um, special occasion bottle or one that you wanna tuck away and let develop some nice tertiary characteristics, look for our crew uh, villages such as Chateauneuf du Pape. For the red grapes that are grown in the Southern Rhone, the predominant grape is Grenache. This is a thin skinned grape variety that requires a warm climate in order to ripen um, to its extreme or to its best potential. This is a grape variety that ingrained in its DNA tends to give you some really lovely strawberry and white pepper characteristics. Next time you're in the grocery store, I really encourage you to go and purchase some white peppercorns and give those a little sniff. They are distinctly different from black peppercorns. I've done this myself and I absolutely love to see the difference. It's not just for color. It does give you a little bit of a hint of differentiation. So our Grenache giving you some strawberry and white pepper, a little bit of a spicy note. 
Um, because it needs this warm climate, it also tends to be a little bit higher in alcohol, so we can get this nice warming sensation on the palate. Our other key grape variety in the Southern Rhone is Syrah. So this is a thicker skinned grape variety. It tends to give you darker fruit characteristics, more of a blackberry. Um, this is where we find some black pepper notes. It can be quite spicy. And I also find that it has quite a meaty or leathery characteristic, a little bit more savory. Um, so that's combination of the Syrah and the Grenache together can add some really nice complexities uh, in the blend. And lastly, we have Mouvedra. This is another blending grape variety. It's very uncommon to see as the predominant grape, but certainly plays a supporting role. This one is a much more savory style grape variety. You give much more tannin, that mouth drying sensation, more leathery meat and smoky notes, um, which just balances really nice with the freshness and the fruitiness of Syrah and Grenache.